Well, it looks like I got a little hydraulic leak somewhere. Unless that's... No, it's hydraulic fluid. Hmm. So this is the way it goes for me. It's always something. So if we look down in here, you can see hydraulic fluid all over that hose. Now I just replaced that hose not too long ago, so that should not be leaking. But I see fluid up above that. So it's hard to say if it's coming from this pump somewhere. I don't see any up there up above, but anything's possible so gonna have to get it over the other side start it up and do some troubleshooting see what's leaking hopefully it's something simple all right folks so we're on to our next project and we're actually helping out a friend here so what we got to do is put in a culvert so he can get a, another entrance to his property because when he goes through his regular gate, his RV is dragging the hind in and uh, scraping it up every time he tries to get in and out of his property. Plus the gate's pretty narrow and he gets nervous going through it. So the solution is we're going to put a culvert in the ditch. He's going to uh, put a gate on the fence and we're going to solve that problem. So let me show you what we got going. So first thing we did is we took the laser level and we figured out our elevations. So from... Uh, up at the top to down at the street we got about three inches different in elevation we're basically going to put it about where that pipe is lying laying so we need 24 inches approximately because it's a 12 inch pipe 13 od 12 id so really we need 25 inches so you can get 12 inches of coverage on top of the pipe for your strength so we're going to dig this ditch out and uh put the culvert in there and then fill it back in so that's where we're at stick with us see how it goes So yesterday we worked until pretty much dark. We were literally taking the equipment back to the property at dark. And, uh, you know, we, we got it close to done. It ain't perfect, but it is uh, packed in and uh, it'll need a little more cleanup. But basically what we did, you know, we started out by digging a ditch and uh, cut that across uh, I think deeper on the lower end than the top end but we still have about 15 inches of drop based on the slope so we use the laser level to check our elevations everywhere and uh, that's a 12 inch pipe with 15 inches of drop over 20 feet so it shouldn't have a problem now obviously uh, we got to clean up the dirt here on this end so it's not plugging that pipe and the water can come down the natural ditch here and run into there no problem. A few low spots to, to fill in and smooth out and then uh, he's going to have uh, gravel put on top of that and of course make a gate through the fence. And so a little bit more work to do here to, to finish it all upright. Uh, and this side uh, we had to you know dig more ditch and that'll probably have to be stretched out more just to get the uh, 
the slope right and the elevations, you know, so that it continues to drop water uh, down the ditch and not get backed up in a deeper hole. So uh, a little bit more work to do there, round out the edges as well, and just kind of clean up. Uh, he'll probably do that stuff by hand. We uh, mainly wanted to use the equipment because we needed to both dig the ditch and move dirt uh, from down below. So he's got a, a road that goes down below to where he's got a pond and you know, the road was kind of narrow. So we decided, you know, let's uh, take dirt from the side of that road and widen the road out a little bit. We'll be able to clean that road up some and uh, that'll make just kind of a better road as well. And so we took dirt from the from the road and uh, put it into the tractor bucket and then brought the, the tractor load up and dumped the dirt. And, uh, you know, the only thing, like I say now, is it's just a matter of being able to smooth it out and stuff. It just got kind of late in the project and we just didn't have time to, to finish everything up. So we did what we could with the time we had using the equipment and you know I gotta head back to the city in a couple days here because it's getting close to election day so uh, he'll have to to go it alone on the next step but it won't be too bad and if we need to do more work later on I can always uh, bring the dozer up or whatever and and clean things up a bit but main thing was we wanted to get that culvert in so when he was talking about plans and stuff, you know, we, we talked of different options and, you know, one thing he originally thought about doing was just dumping, uh, you know, rock into the ditch to cross over. And uh, while that would theoretically work, the problem you run into there is that on a county road, you can't really impede the flow of water in the ditch. And so if that rock got uh, jammed up and was impeding the flow of water then what would happen uh, is the county would get a complaint and they would theoretically come out and uh, clean up the uh, the rock they would literally remove it and they may charge you uh, for ripping out the mess that you made and so you really got to think about anytime you're doing something outside of your own property you know what are the rules and and who's it going to impact and and how uh you know may that affect you or not so uh just stuff you got to think about you you can't just uh jump into something and and do it and do whatever you want when it's on uh you know the county access or whatever uh and even so with the state as well or if you're in a city so you got to know their rules and uh you know the county here is is pretty lenient but uh like i say that's provided that what you're doing you're doing correctly to where it's not impeding the flow of water or anything like that so uh they won't bother you about it but uh if you do it wrong it can cost you money for them to come clean up your mess and then basically the rock you paid for and everything they're going to haul it away and leave you with nothing but a bill so yeah make sure when you do stuff uh, on the county road or the state road or whatever that you're uh, following their rules and regulations and and uh, you know doing it right so you don't get into a situation that costs you a lot of money in the end So this is the road we were taking down, kind of a hairpin turn right here was a little bit challenging for the tractor. We had to cut some branches off the top of this tree here so we could get through, but you can see our tracks from coming back and forth. And he's got some of the same kinds of problems I have where this hill drops off real fast. So he's got some erosion going on that where the water flows down this hill so uh, wasn't much we could do to clean this up because really uh, it needs to be made wider with proper ditches and and uh, 
do some, you know, crown the road and actually do something to mitigate the water flow. And of course here the water flows across the road, so same thing. But this is kind of the section we worked on here. So it cleaned up quite well. You can look along the sides there where we kind of cut into the side of the hill a little bit. And then I just used that little excavator with its little dozer blade to kind of clean up this road. It ain't perfect, but it's better than it was. And you know, if he really wants to clean this up nice, then we'll have to fall some trees and bring my dozer down here to, you know, cut this road legit and make it nice. So anyway, that's kind of what we did there. And, uh, it worked it got us enough dirt to to do the job and of course there's plenty of dirt laying around here that if he needs to haul up a little bit more dirt he can uh, put a little trailer behind his truck and haul some more dirt out of here or even push a wheelbarrow if need be but uh, hopefully he doesn't have to do anything like that or he'll have to wait till i come back and we can bring the tractor over and get a couple scoops whatever so that's pretty much what the project was just putting in the, the culvert there luckily on the uh, hydraulic leak on the excavator it was a simple o-ring on a uh, cap for an auxiliary port so easy uh, easy easy fix is about best case scenario so we got her done we got the job done that was just a neat little project to help out a neighbor and a friend.